In this video, I'm going to be talking about all of the requirements that you need to get started and to be successful in the themed entertainment industry. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and stay to the very end because I've got a very special offer just for you. Come on, let's get started. Hi everybody, I'm Theron. Welcome back to the studio. I'm here to help you learn and master themed entertainment. You know, here in the studio, I get a lot of questions that you guys submit all the time about working in themed entertainment, how to get started in themed entertainment, the different types of roles that you find. And so what I've tried to do with this video is put that together in a way that gives you some direction and hopefully helps you to find your way, not just starting, but also if you have a career in the industry, help you navigate your way through it. Maybe you want to move into doing something different. Maybe you want to move up uh, in the industry, but I'm hoping that this video helps answer those questions for you. You know, a question that I get a lot is, do you really need a degree like from a university to work in this industry? And the way that I like to answer that is that it really depends on you. If you are somebody who loves academics, you really get a lot out of it. You, it you know, kind of feeds you to be in a classroom setting, uh, working with a professor and really learning through, then you should pursue that because that, that's gonna really feed your soul in a sense, right? You're gonna get the most learning out of that. If you're somebody who's really, you know, good with their hands, you like just working, you really like, you're very curious maybe, and you love to, to just get out there and start doing, those are the kind of people that I would recommend that you just get into the industry any way you can and, you know, start making a name for yourself and start working and learning the ropes. A degree actually helps you get your foot in a door and then the experience that you gain while working in the industry actually gives you a lot more freedom to move around. Um, Companies will hire you based on experience. Some companies will hire you based on degree. There's not a better way except the way that works best for you. With so many different universities now offering themed entertainment design degrees, and many of those are master level degrees, we have quite a lot of students who are graduating into the industry, and unfortunately the industry is not at the pace where it's keeping up with lots of hiring as it was uh, just even last year. So I get a lot of questions about, you know, what, what do students do? How, what's the best way for a graduating student to get involved? And I think that fortunately there's a lot of ways to do that. There are plenty of internships that are out there. I think that there's um, also lots of different companies uh, that are hiring. I see that all the time, which is pretty exciting. So I would just say, take your degree, Work your network. If you don't have a network, get a network. Do all that you can to reach out and talk to people. Um, I think one thing that I'm the most proud of about our community, this great community of themed entertainment individuals, uh, no matter what category uh, you might work in, no matter what discipline you might be, I have seen so many people reaching out and really helping uh, the next generation. So I'd say there's plenty of pros that are out there that are probably doing very similar things that I'm doing here, reaching out and making a connection with that next generation. Um, there's quite a lot of resources. I can even include some uh, in the notes down below and take a look at those and get connected, work all of those networks and pretty soon you'll be surprised. You'll end up uh, hired, you'll end up helping somebody, you'll end up freelancing. Remember, this industry is worldwide and there are projects all over the world that are happening right now that you might be able to be a part of. You know, there's so many people who are just starting out in their career and they ask me things like, you know, what are the skills that I learned in the industry that would help them the most? And I have to say, one of the things that I wish I would have been told earlier is the importance of teamwork and listening. That may sound like an obvious question, but when you're on a team building experiences that your client wants millions of people to love and the idea of listening to your client, really understanding their brand and what they want out of the experience, what are their business objectives, that is so critical. I just can't reinforce it enough. Really truly listening and taking in those questions, taking in those goals, those desires that that client has, or ideas that your teammates have, ideas that your consultants might have, really listening and forming all of your design direction, your visioning, everything 
on that is so super critical. Uh, teamwork, again, can't reinforce it enough. You've seen other videos that I've produced that talk about the variety of differences between disciplines uh, working on themed entertainment projects, and they're big, big differences. So finding that way to move forward, even with positive tension, keeping the group together, keeping the group focused on problem solving and delivering that vision, that is, I think, the most critical thing of all. The last thing that I'll say is I think a critical skill for everyone to have, no matter what discipline or no matter what role you actually are in, and that is curiosity. Keeping that curiosity alive, never really being satisfied um, about what seems obvious, but digging deeper and uh, the desire to learn more and to keep moving forward. I just think that's a very critical skill for everybody who's interested in themed entertainment. You know, the next generation of theme park designers and experience creators, these world builders, I get a lot of questions from them about what is more important, being a individual who's focused on maybe one skill, uh, a subject matter expert, or somebody who's kind of like a jack of all trades and does a lot of different things. It's a really great question, and unfortunately there's not a really great answer, but I'll throw some things out there for you to think about. Nobody gets hired in this industry because they just have great ideas or because they're just a really nice person. You get hired in this industry because you have a particular skill, a subject matter expertise. You might be an illustrator, you might be a writer, you might be a project manager, you might be an architect. Those skills will get you hired in the door into a role. And your ability to do lots of other things is what gives you the ability to really navigate and move around within the company that hires you and to take on different roles and actually to kind of prove yourself to being able to do lots of different things. So if you do lots of different things, that gives you the advantage of applying for lots of different roles, but you're only gonna get hired for one thing, creative director, graphic designer, um, you know, entertainment director, architect, etc. And once you get hired and you get in there, just like I said, that gives you the opportunity to speak with your leadership or your clients and really uh, expand upon what you do. If you stay curious, you stay hungry, and you keep learning, no matter what you get hired to do, you will grow as an individual, as a professional, and you'll be able to do lots and lots of different things. You know, in my course, I really try to give some pointers on how you can actually look at the industry and find the right entrance point for you. And I kind of break it down into two different groups, technical and non-technical. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I've given categories of all the different disciplines, creative, delivery, design, etc. And if you look at all of that, they really all break down into two groups, technical and non-technical, all of the different uh, disciplines and jobs that are out there. Well, the real question is, and I get this frequently, how important is story for the technical people to understand? It seems obvious the non-technical, the creative uh, side of the house, um, that story is really important to those individuals, those jobs. But story is really important for everybody on the project team. And I'll tell you why. Story is really the mechanism that's used to deliver the brand for the client, deliver on that brand's audience, and to really take the client's business objectives and put them all together, encapsulate them, if you will, in the right story that's designed for that particular project. And if the story's done right, it'll deliver on all of those elements for the client. Now, what's really great is everybody on the project team will align themselves with that story vision and it'll project all the way through to the end of the project. Now, th what's so important about this is that how many of you know that there are problems that come up in a project, right? Every single project has challenges, things that you didn't plan for, things that were you just discovered, especially building in older theme parks. Man, there's a lot of things that you discover. Um, something all of a sudden costs a lot more than it used to. You'll always come up with those challenges. Having a solid story that the whole project team is aligned on, that the client agrees with and is aligned on, now you have a mechanism to solve problems with. You know, how do we make these cuts in light of the story? How do we 
adjust the time frame? How do we modify the design to uh, accommodate this challenge that we found? The story is your North Star. It is the guiding principle that gives the team, everybody on the team, that problem solving ability so that you stay true to everything that you agree upon with the client at the concept stage. Story is critical. You know, people look at my career with Imagineering 23 years and they ask me, wow, how, how did you stay with the company for so long? What are the, what are the factors that, that contribute to you wanting to stay there? And I think there's a few factors that you should be aware of. You know, Disney is really what I call a legacy brand. Universal is there, Merlin Entertainment is there. These are the, the companies that have billions of dollars uh, in invested properties all over the world. And, and, you know, they spend a lot of money on each of their projects. Now, that's not to say they're better. It's just to say that they have a lot of requirements when they spend that kind of money. That's why Disney, Universal, they have the level of detail that they have. For me, that was really fun, uh, working in a place where the company, the client, even though I was with Imagineering, I always looked at the Walt Disney Company as my client. The client had a requirement for story, for details, for making an emotional connection with the customer, with the guest. And I think it was those factors that really created in me this hunger and the desire to stay. Now, that's not to say there wasn't difficult times. That wasn't to say that there weren't periods of time in my career where I thought, wow, I, I, maybe I should go do something else. But at the end of the day, I weighed out all of the different you know, circumstances, all the different opportunities, and I still decided that working at Imagineering was still more fun than what I could have done someplace else. Even when it was really tough, even when we had a toxic leaders or whatever, you know, I still chose to stay there. And I'm really glad that I did. Uh, you know, sometimes fighting through those difficulties in your career can really give you enormous success, personal success, meaning, you know, a feeling of meaning, a feeling of really delivering something that millions of guests will love. That's really what I want to leave you with in making that decision is when you work for a company like Disney, like Universal, you know, um, like Merlin Entertainment, like these big companies, you're doing something that affects millions of people's lives. You're really bringing joy. You're bringing a, a, an environment where families connect and, uh, and people have genuine happiness. Man, that feels really good. That's the kind of meaning for me that really encouraged me to stay in the business as long as I did and is really why I'm doing these videos, why I created the Designers Creative Studio, and that is to inspire, to educate, and to guide the next generation. And um, I hope you can see that in everything that I do. I really want you to take that into your career and deliver your best for all of the future guests that will enjoy everything that you create. People do ask me a lot about leadership and um, having spent quite a few years as a leader with Walt Disney Imagineering, I always tell them about the desire to mentor people. I think that that is so important. Whether the company has an official sort of mentorship program or not, I think as leaders, mentorship is hugely important um, because it's actually sharing what you know and what you've learned and you help the next generation or those people working for you or working on your team, it helps them to learn from what you've learned. It shortcuts their learning process and it gets them to the point where they uh, can contribute even at a higher level. It helps you as a leader because now you've got people that have uh, um, are gaining a level of maturity from your experience. Don't ever be afraid of sharing the things that you learn. Um, if you're inquisitive, if you're uh, curious and excited about learning and you love what you do, you don't have to worry about people taking over your job. You know, spread that knowledge among everybody around you because you want them to be great leaders too. One of the things that I really like to encourage people when I talk to them is about how everything that we learn in this industry uh, can apply to our everyday lives. And the things that we learn in our everyday lives can actually apply in our work world. Keeping that balance to me is hugely important. I, I think especially as a creative, because you constantly have to generate these ideas, pitch these ideas, and it, it's, you know, it's, it's a pouring out of yourself. 
And uh, keep that well filled is really, really important. Well, think about the things that you learn in this industry, right? It's an extremely dynamic industry. It's always changing. You're always working on different projects. Um, even for me, it goes from theme parks and attractions to retail, dining and entertainment, to cruise ships, to hotels. To I mean, it's constantly changing. And for me, that was really fun. Well, if you take your ability to navigate complex issues, complex projects, problem solving with uh, lots of different types of team members, a very diverse team, uh, not just in skills, but a diverse team of people who see things differently, who come from different backgrounds, learning to manage and solve problems within that kind of a complex environment really does help you in your personal life. Uh, you, you are excited to be with lots of different people. You're open to learning new things, especially if your work takes you overseas. You get to work in a new culture, you work in a new country, you learn a new language. All of those things, I think, broadens our horizons, gets us the ability to see things in a much broader, deeper way. And all of those lessons can definitely help us in our personal lives. And I hope it helps you in your life. If you made it to this far in the video, congratulations. I'm offering you a special discount, 20% off on my coaching services and on my online course. Now this is the course that has eight sessions over five hours of content. It is everything that you need to know about working in themed entertainment. Head over to my website and use the discount code YouTube as you check out and you'll get 20% off. You know, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, comment down below with what you thought about this video and don't forget to leave me ideas for new video content because I love answering your questions and giving you what you wanna know about themed entertainment. I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time in the studio.